Right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items to give away to one of you guys to thank you for the support throughout this entire prep series. This item is mine because I'm getting a dry mouth trying to record this video, so it's staying there just in case I need it. Uh, but like I said, I wanted to give something back to thank you because, you know, whether it's a DM on Instagram, a comment on YouTube, or just a random conversation in some gym around the UK when I'm filming, saying that I'm inspiring them on their journey, that fuels me on, on my shit, just as much as watching me do my stuff has inspired some of you guys. Um, and even, you know, when I'm at my lowest points, those little comments can, like, fuel the fire a little bit. I'll never reveal I'm at a low point, but trust me, there's been many throughout this whole prep. There's only going to be one or two people that know it. Um, but we're at the final hurdle now. We're actually one week out today. Uh, it's quarter to seven in the morning I'm recording this. I'm aiming to get this live by eight. So if you're watching this when it drops, I've only recorded it an hour ago uh, because I've just had such a busy week. Because it's peak week now and I've crammed all my shoots and traveling and that into uh, the weeks leading up to peak week. Um, you might be wondering about this bright hoodie as well. This is one of the new range that steps the stock in. And they said, gee, we've got a, a colorful tie-dye hoodie here in 2XL. Would you like to wear it, mate? I was like, I love a bit of tie-dye. And it's quite nice. And we've actually got one of the items to give away today, Retro Muscle. Um, so we've got this to give away, but I've also put a Q&A on Instagram. So what I'm gonna do is rather than go in, this is the giveaway, and then do the Q&A, or doing the Q&A and then doing the giveaway, I'm gonna actually go in between the Q&A and a product breakdown of each of these. Um, so the, the giveaway is actually gonna be going live on Instagram at the same time this goes on YouTube as well. You do need to go on Instagram to enter. So if you haven't got Instagram, apologies, but it is 2022. You should have Instagram, you, you really should. Um, so let's go in with some Q&A shit first. Um, I've got all the questions here that I posted up on uh, Insta a few days back. So the first one, I'm just going to go from top to bottom rather than going random so I don't lose my way. What's been the hardest part of prep? The hardest part of prep has definitely been food focus at the back end since the JP show. This last three weeks has been murder. Um, up until that point, no issues. Anyone that knows me knows I'm a massive chocolate fiend. Didn't bother me for however many weeks it was. It would probably, it would have been 15 weeks up until the JP show. And did not bother me once. And then I had the post-show food and I think that just triggered it. And I was like, oh yeah, I remember how much I like this shit. And uh, I have not been able to stop thinking about it ever since. Uh, even to the point where Nut butter was in my diet. Nut butter became chocolate in my life. It replaced chocolate. And don't get me wrong, I stuck to the diet. 40 grams of nut butter on my pro-fat days. But that was, it was moreish. And I was like, oh, as soon as I had a taste of it, which is like what I'm like with chocolate, I wanted more peanut butter. So I had to put my big boy pants on and say, Cal, can we, can we scrap the nut butter? Because it's getting to the point where this this shit could go downhill fast. So we took it out and we went completely bro with the fats. So we're using oils and steak and eggs and shit like that. So that's been the hardest part of prep. Um, some of you may have thought the traveling and, and the training on the road and managing everything, well, that comes easy to me because I know that is the, what it is. And um, I wouldn't decide to do a prep if uh, I was prepared to take on that, that challenge. And those things are just things we've got to deal with, you know, traveling, work, life, blah, blah, blah. Um, but the food focus, yeah, that's been the hardest part. Second one, if you could have a meal with three IFBB pros, who would it be not including the ones you know? Um, not including the ones I know. That's a friggin' hard one, eh? Cause it, like, Sounds like I'm fucking really poking my chest at you, but I know a lot of IFBB pros. Um, it'd probably be some of the Americans that I've not actually um, worked alongside with yet, which is hoping, you know, I am going to be. 
So I guess the the new guys on the scene, definitely like like Nick Walker, um, you know that whole kind of broadcast crew, those guys. Um, so I think. We'd have to have a legend in there as well, wouldn't we? <laughs> okay. Lee Priest. Lee Priest, because he looks a hell of a crack. We'll throw Lee, Lee Priest in as in the legend chair. We'll have Nick Walker as like the new legend coming up. And then uh, I'm guessing we'll have to go with those that who are uh, on alive, obviously. We're not gonna to touch on that one because we're trying to keep this positive seven days out. Uh, and we go the blade, we go Dex Jackson. We we'll chuck another legend in this, so two legend chairs and then Nick as the up and comer. So Lee Priest, Dex Jackson, and we'll have Nick Walker. So that's the three pros that I'll have some, uh, some grub with. What is the best camera for less than a grand? Um, I would personally go, like, I'm not the biggest camera geek, even though this is what I do for a living. Like, I use a Sony a7S III. The Sonys, you can't go wrong because they, they can do the best of both worlds, pictures and video. Something like uh, a, go away, Liam, sent my check in pictures. Uh, a6500 Sony, something like that. That's kind of middle of the road. Nice vlogging camera. I'm, I'm assuming that's where you want to do content for YouTube and that. So, uh, A6500 Sony. Another one. We'll do like batches of four and then we'll go into the stuff. What sends you to that mental place when you do, <laughs> when you do legs? Hats off to you with the effort. Um, music. Music, let me just take a sip of this because I can feel the camel mouth come in. Music probably is the best trigger for me to, to get me in the zone for those big sets on legs. Um, hence why I kind of pulled music out in the last couple of leg sessions because I didn't want it to take over and make me fuck myself up when I'm like so low now. Um, so yeah, music. But for me to turn it on with music, I 110% know and believe the last couple of years, knocking about with certain individuals, Jordan Peters, Corin, uh, James Hollins, Heads, the you know Jamie, the Giant Cuba, all these guys that go at it with their training. I thoroughly believe being around those and seeing the mindset they have towards their sessions has rubbed off on me. I'm definitely a bit of a sponge, and uh, I, I take things in things that I can benefit from, I'll take in. So, you know, seeing the way that they've done it, I've been able to nurture that in myself over the last couple of years. You know, it's not something that happens overnight. The training has always been hard in terms of me going at the training, but the uh, that mental switch to get it where it needs to be for, for like legs or whatever, uh, you know, and, I, and that is a thought process that I've actually taken into other sessions as well because I found that obviously my legs have come on so much and then certain uh, you know body parts of mine like pushing that because I'm not well, I haven't been as strong on them in the past they've lacked but I've started using that mentality on other sessions um, and it's paid off because the last 18 months of hammering like you know my top line and that it's, it's come up dramatically so that is uh, I would say what sends me to that mental place in general music and mentality so basically surround yourself by sadistic fuckers um, and get some good tunes on spotify there's a playlist called muscle rap i've mentioned it a couple of times if you're into hip-hop hip i've created that over the last couple of years there's like 300 400 songs in there that'll sort you out good All right let's touch on a couple of bits we'll go with the cookie project stuff first because these are in my face and i want to get them out because Seven days out, you know what I'm saying? So they've sent me two squares, and I'd be lying if I said I knew which ones they were, because I don't really want to go on the website and look. 
except I don't really want to put these things in front of me at the minute. That one looks like some white chocolate with some caramel and shortbread going on. This one looks like flake with a little bit of white chocolate drizzle and some wafer on top as well. So we've got two squares. They look banging. Uh, Carla actually bought me these post show after the JP show and I can thoroughly recommend them. If you haven't checked out the cookie project, check them out. So we've got two squares which they've sent me. These can um, be stored in the fridge as well. I've actually had them for about four days now and they said they store for weeks. So I've just been, I've kept them in, in the cardboard box so they came in, in the back of the fridge, out of sight, out of mind, ready to give away to one of you lot. So that's the first thing we are giving away. More questions. Uh, love to watch your older YouTube stuff. Any chance of getting access to it again? Absolutely fucking not. I had this conversation a few days back. Some of the stuff that I used to record for YouTube when I first got into this, as good as it was at the time and I had a good crack doing it, I'm not putting that out there to the world because I would get rinsed. Because I'm just in a different place now. Um, I was playing the YouTube angle, the YouTube game, and uh, some of the stuff is fucking cringy. So they're private. And they're staying private. They're staying locked away. Uh, there's a couple of videos live. In fact, if you scroll back, you'll see my first show day vlog, which I went back and watched the other day. Seeing as we are approaching show day again, go and have a look, see the difference. See the, the difference in just this. I look about 12 years old. Um, and there's a one or two videos that I made for Sienna, which she likes to watch now and again. Uh, she gets access to whatever she wants because she can just go on my phone and watch them. Um, but you guys, unfortunately, ain't going to see shit. Sorry about that. Um, we all have shit days. How do you get out of it? Yeah, I've had many shit days on prep, as I mentioned. How do I get out of my shit days? Uh, try and, and like kind of take your, yourself away from whatever you're doing at that time to take your mind off it. You know, if you're, uh, <clears throat> if you're going through something like shitty at home, get out of the house for a couple of hours. <clears throat> um, you know, if it's work related, take yourself away from the work. Um, if it's just something that's in your head, you need to just get do, go and do something which is gonna clear your head. That's all, all I really do. Um, I, I find Matt, <laughs> I find myself that Things like that, I just need to kind of go to bed and wake up the next day and start fresh. Um, you know, try your best to get out of it in that day because if it fucking ends up being this time in the morning and you start on a shit day, it's going to be a long fucking day. And I've had those, but I just try and focus on th things that I need to do. Like, obviously, I'm very busy with work. Um, so I'll just get stuck into work and take my mind off it, get stuck into the training. The training... You know, if you're on a bad day as well, the training is massive therapy for me. That's kind of where it is in my life. That's my time away from the stresses of life and work. Um, you know, even though I'm doing really well at it, and I've, you know, I'm, I'm competing and all that this year, but it's really just my, my glorified hobby and it's my therapy away from life stresses. I just happen to fucking love it a lot. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's all I would say, man. Just, just fucking snap out of it or take yourself out of the situation to go and sort um, sort your head out a little bit, clear your head, go for a big fucking walk if you have to. If you've got nothing on, just fucking pack a bag with food and, and water and all that and just go for a big, big old fucking walk, get going at 20,000 steps in or something. Um, but if you're having that bad of a shit day, talk to someone as well. It's important. Mental health is a massive thing in the minute. Talk to someone. Uh, do you think intra supplements are worth using? They're only w worth using if your diet is on point. And that's with any supplement. I get, obviously I'm doing a bit of coaching now, so I'm getting a lot of more questions about this type ki kind of thing from clients. And their own things like that, I think because people can buy them and you know get over the counter and they're all made up nice and now they think, oh yeah, we, ha we have that and then we can, 
you know, it's the secret. It's not a secret. You, your food needs to be on point. Your training needs to be on point. Your water intake needs to be on point. Your sleep needs to be on point. What I, I'm a hypocrite because mine's not. Um, and everything else just needs to be in check before you start adding supplements in. And also, intro supplements are worth it when needed. Like, I'm... I'm only on 20 gram of uh, intra-carb powder at the minute. It's like the only carbs I have on my pro fat days, uh, just as a supplement to get me through the sessions. But you know that they will that will go up. That will go up to like probably 80 grams or 100 grams or 150. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, they they're only there to be added to your existing plan. It's a supplement. Supplement is actually a French word to add, I believe. Some, it, it, it basically means to add in addition to what is already there. So it's to, it's to supplement what is already in place. So if your food's on point and you're losing weight, if that's your goal, um, there's no need to add intra, intra supplements in there. But they do have their place. I'd say if you diet it down in terms of an intra, I would say maybe like a, we haven't got one year, but the aminos, that can help uh, with, you know, prevent muscle wastage and things like that. When you're dieting down, drink that doing your cardio and stuff and sip it through the day. <clears throat> this one confused me because I've seen it come up. Is the life behind the camera over for magic? No, like that's, that's everything I am, like behind the camera. I mean, obviously I'm doing this, these vlogs and that, but my career is behind the camera. <laughs> so no, like life behind the camera is definitely not over. And we're about to actually fucking really level up once this prep's over, because I've got a whiteboard full of ideas and rebrands and things like that. that I'm about to kick off. Uh, I need water. <coughs> this video's dragging on, sorry. <clears throat> Let's try and keep these quicker. No question, but you're killing it at the moment. Really inspirational. Thank you, Gar. Appreciate that a lot, bro. <clears throat> Top five gyms you've been to can be anywhere in the world. Um, let's start with, start with fucking Plant Fitness in Tredegar because it's on my doorstep and people have said that oh, I'm only in shape because I go to the best gyms in the UK. Well, that is fucking, you can't beat that gym first of all. That's number one for me because it's on my doorstep. Uh, and Di, who owns it, Di Proper Welsh, anyone that's not from Wales, Di is a, what we call it, a David. Um, He's smashing it, and he's just got an, a load of prime kit coming in, Panata, Jim Leco. Um, he spent a lot of money here, so can't beat that. Then we got Panus, then we got the Ultra Flexes. Um, my favourite one being Durham, actually, because, well, not just because I'm good friends with Anth, but I just find that one has got the better vibe for me, and I, and I love the, the old little hardcore corner. That's a little bit of a nice little old school throwback. Um, so what's that? That's three, is it? Or two? Um, best gyms. Another one I would say would be Kings. I do like Kings. And the next one I would say, I do actually like Trojan in Bristol. Trojan, I think this is five. Planet, Ultraflex. Trojan, Kings, and Prophecy. We throw Prophecy in there because I enjoy training at Prophecy as well. So those would be the top, my top gyms to go to. And obviously I know people in those areas and you know, it's not that I've got like, you know, big memories of being there or whatever, but because I know people there and you know, I can see, see that my, other, my friends that live in those areas. Um, hardest part of prep, we've done that one. So. I've had that twice, so the two guys, you, you've got your answers. Uh, what do you find hardest in peak week? <clears throat> carbon up. I realised I actually hate carb up last week because we did two-day carb up and uh, the way I feel after it. The thought of carbon up is absolutely amazing, but actually the, the feeling of it. Oof. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that there. Um, do you plan on doing more shows or is this the only, going to be the only one? Well, this is going to be the second show. Last show of this year, who knows what the future holds. The wife will say, no, you're not doing another show. I will say, we shall see. 
Right, on to uh, some more products. <clears throat> We've got the new JP Way ISO Pro in blueberry muffin flavour. 66 servings. These are from Stups. Thank you to Katie and Stu. The Retro Muscle, which is the uh, the brand in here, that's a new product. I believe they're uh, they're Welshies as well. So shout out to these guys. Uh, Tropical Fruit Blast. It's a stim pre workout. I have not tried this yet because I haven't had time to go over and get my my supplement order from Stups. But I will be getting that on the next run. So we've got that in terms of caffeine, because that's all we care about with pre-workouts, is 350 milligrams of caffeine per two scoops, 16 grams, so that's that. And then we've got some MV Pre, which is a banging pre-workout, you should know about this one. Big pumps, big energy, and that flavor is candy necklace. So we've got three supplements from Steps. Magic 10, if you don't want to purchase anything. If you lose out on this giveaway, you don't get these. You can go steps and get your own shit and use Magic 10 and save some money. Uh, more questions. Best thing about your job, traveling and meeting new people, seeing places, uh, and being inspired as well. Your favorite gym, Planet Fitness, because it's on my doorstep. Uh, could only pick one, pro bodybuilder or top videographer. I'm assuming that is me picking one that I could be, not one that I would want to marry or anything. Um, I'll actually say something here, because well, pro bodybuilder, I could not give a flying fuck. I'll be honest, because I'm not looking to do anything in bodybuilding and I am surrounded by pros and I see what they have to go through and sacrifices they have to make and personally I don't want to do that um, and number one well that's I guess that's number one number two I haven't got what it takes to be a pro physically genetically uh, I think if I'd started earlier there might have been a chance that we could have done okay in bodybuilding just through pure graft and work ethic because of what I've done in a short space of time because I've been only trained I've only trained eight years but the first three or four years I was kind of just fucking about and well, still training hard but like not knowing what I was good doing and then the last four years I've really gone at it um, and in terms of being top videographer without blowing my own trumpet um, anyone that follows magic I knows my client roster where I stand in the game where I sit and in terms of UK videographers and creators, I'm probably up there in, in the mix in the top couple. Um, you know, I'm not gonna mention any of the names that I think are there as well, but you know, the work and the clients and, and everything I'm doing speaks for itself. And it's about to, like I said, it's about to get even better in terms of that. So um, I think top videographer is the choice because that is kind of what I'm already doing. Uh, and I plan on that being even bigger. I plan on being even topper videographer, if that makes sense. Uh, right, a couple more there. Clothing, we have got, so I'm giving three of the same sizes, which I thought was kind of middle of the road. Uh, we've got XL oversized, and this is a, I believe it's a long sleeve, black trained by JP top. We've got the olive green short sleeve, trained by JT, JP top, and that's got like the banding across the, the front. And then we've got the, the blue one with the white pipe in, again, XL oversized in blue, and a JP duffel bag. In fact, let's chuck this in there. Boom. So you get a gym bag from JP, and you also get three tops. So that is all the products that I shall be giving away over on Instagram. So you need to go there to offer the enter. Two more questions. What's the best bit of advice you've been given so far? Um, don't care what anyone thinks about what you're doing. Just do not care. If you're happy and you're doing it for yourself and it's not hurting anyone, and you know everyone else close to you is looked after 
don't care what anyone else out there thinks because they have fucking no impact on what you're doing. When I first started fucking about with YouTube, those videos which are cringy now, the people in the local area, I used to get some shitty comments, I'll be honest. Now look where I'm at. Like me fucking about on a camera, on a GoPro in DW Fitness, recording my little sessions in there, um, has turned into a career, a very good career, which is still on the rise. And if I had listened to those guys that used to give me shit about recording my stuff in the gym, I wouldn't have carried on, you know, trying to perfect the craft of using a camera and filming in the gyms and things like that. And I would never be at this point. I probably would have just done a fucking U-turn and gone back into the rat race and, you know, just worked a regular kind of job. Um, so yeah, do not listen to what anyone else has to say about what you're doing in your life. If it's not affecting them, fuck them. Take that as you will. Of all the bodybuilders, who's the person who inspires you most when it comes to handling a prep? I'm gonna leave this on me. I inspire myself, because I know what I'm putting into this. And I'm gonna try and fucking talk about this without crying, because I'm only a couple of days out and it's the end. Um, I inspire myself in, in this case, because I know what I've put into this and I know what I've had to deal with and I know that from speaking to other bodybuilders in the industry that they they couldn't do it and that's not me saying this that's them telling me to my face that they would not be able to do what i've done so um that kind of solidifies the the graph that i thought that i've been put that i thought i've been putting in um <clears throat> so, yeah, I inspire myself in that case because I'm going to class myself as a bodybuilder now. I can officially call myself a bodybuilder because I've done a show. Even though I've been fucking living this life religiously for like between four and eight years or whatever, um, people don't seem to class people as bodybuilders unless they step on stage. But, yeah, I inspire myself. And at this point, you have to. You have to. Um, so, yeah. Last the Q&A. That's the giveaway. We'll wrap this up. So to win these, head over to Instagram. This is going to go live and that's going to go live both at 8 a.m., which is very soon. So I need to get this shit done. Uh, to enter, all you need to do, you need to be subscribed to the YouTube. So if you're watching this, you already are. If you're watching it and you haven't subscribed, you need to subscribe. I will be checking. And then you need to go into Instagram. You need to follow Stubbs. You need to follow Dra Train by JP Clothing. And you also need to follow the Cookie Project RCT. I'm not following them at the minute. Well, I am, but I've muted the posts because I don't want to see this shit. Not yet. Um, but you need to follow these three guys. And again, I'll be talking to them to make sure that you are following and going through your follow list when it comes to deciding the winner. The winner, so once you've done all that, you've got to like the post as well. Um, once you've done on Instagram, sorry. So like the post on Instagram, follow Steps, follow Train by JP Clothing, follow the Cookie Project RCT, it'll all be in the description. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also follow my Instagram as well. I mean, it's not one of the things, but hopefully you're already following me. Um, and then the winner will be announced the Friday before the show, which is, it's going live this morning. So it's gonna be live for six days. So next Friday, which is Friday the 13th, unlucky for some, we will be uh, announcing the winner, and then after the show, the week after the show, I will be sending these bits out, or hand delivering if you're local, or if you want to come pick them up, it's up to you. But I'll contact you when it's announced. To congratulate, so thank you for watching, and once again, thank you for all the support throughout prep, and uh, good luck to whoever wins this. It's peak week now. I'm recording this week. I'm probably going to do something across the week to take you through different bits. And then that will release on show day. And then Laz Gelsey is filming show day. And that will release whenever he's done that video, which will hopefully be the week after. Um, but yeah, we're close. And I'm going to end on this morning's check-in. We've hit the lowest weight to prep, 201.8.
eight pounds. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.